could I compare fractions to know which one's bigger or smaller? What, what would I do? What would I do? I'm comparing fractions to know which one's bigger or smaller. What could I do? Mason, what do you think I could do? A number line? Okay, how would that work? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Would I have to draw one number line or two number lines? One for each fraction. Okay. Any other ideas of how I could compare fractions? We've been comparing fractions. How have we been doing it? Gabriella, what do you think? I need to write this down. We could use number line, as Mason said. We will probably need at least two, one for each fraction. We don't really want to crowd our number line if we don't have to. We could use our bar models, which are those fraction strips that you have in your desk. We could always draw those. You don't have to just use the fraction strips. And then I really like what Natalie said is if, big word if, the denominator is the same, we just have to know which fraction is shaded in more. So in her example, she said that um, 3 6 versus 4 6. My denominator is the same. I'm comparing the same thing, 6. Well, then I'm going to look for which one is shaded in farther, which is going to be 4, 6. So if the denominator is the same, bar models, mostly because we're most familiar, and because you have bar models in your basket. Now again, you could always draw your bar models if you want to. Um, obviously, you won't have access to your math kit on the EOG, which is a bummer, but you can draw the same model. Okay? So we're going to not only use our pieces, but I want you to draw it as well. Same thing with number lines, when you're drawing, go margin to margin and make it maybe two lines or three lines big. So go ahead and drop two bar models in your notebook, margin to margin, use the lines that are already straight in your notebook, maybe make your bars two or three lines thick, and you need two of them because we're going to be comparing two fractions. Alright, we are going to pick, compare four, six, versus one half. We're going to do one step at a time. So first, I want you to get out your four six pieces and arrange them in a line, kind of like we do when we play cover the hole. Yep, four six. Don't put them on your notebook, put them on your desk. We're going to need our notebook to draw the same version. How am I going to make four six on paper? How am I going to make 4, 6 on paper? This is not a trick question. It should not be a trick question. Sit down. Drawing 4, 6. That was the stuff we covered on the very first day of fraction. How do I do it? Right? How do I do it? <coughs> So maybe we 
I need to partition or break apart that top section into six. I know that I can split it in half because the only one that I can't split in half is thirds. So go ahead and split your bar in half with a pencil. Right now all I have is two parts. That's not enough. I need six parts because I'm splitting into six. Oh. I have one, two, three, and one giant piece. That's not fair. So I need to split that side up. So now I have split my bar into six equal sections. I should have six. Let's count my pieces. Count with me. Ready? One, six. Two, six. Three, six. Four, six. Five, six. Six, six. All right, do I have four, six? No. no. Not yet. What do I need to do to make my bar have four, six? Where is he? Shade in four. Now, could I shade in four anywhere? Yes. Yeah. Yes, technically I could. However, when we're comparing, it's a lot easier if you just start at one end and go across. I could go and shade in any four, no matter where they are. But since we're comparing, it's a lot easier if you shade in them in a row. Because then you'll way be easier to tell which one's larger and which one's smaller. All right, we got four six. Yes, we good? Mm -hmm. All right, we're comparing one half. Get out your one half piece from your fraction strip. And I want you to place it underneath your four six to compare sides. It should be lined up on one end. So you can easily tell which one's longer. So don't stick your one half in the middle. Stick your one half lined up on one end. Yep, Natalie's got it if you're at her table. Ford's got it at his table. Um, Mason looks like he's got it. Cheyenne's got it. Eva's got it. Tajir's got it. Good. All right, how am I going to split up my picture of one half? How would I make one half out of my bar model? Natalie? Um, just a line between or in the middle of our second. Yeah, all I gotta do is partition it into two pieces because my denominator is a two. I need two equal pieces. Is that one half yet? No. Parker, what do I need to do to change that to one half? I gotta shade in how many pieces? One. How do you know one? Mm. Our numerator is is one. That tells us how many pieces we need to shade in. Again, I can shade in any piece. It doesn't matter. However, it's a lot easier if I start with the same end. Based on your picture or your strips and based on the picture that we just made, which fraction is longer, aka larger? Eva? Uh, four, six. four six is larger. It's longer, therefore larger. Grace, question? No? Um, I'm going to go back to your greater than, less than. Remember the symbols? Yeah. And the large one always goes, or the mouth always goes to the larger. 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 Or the larger. less. Or, no, it's not or the less. It goes the same way every single time. So I would read this as 4, 6 is greater than 1 half. Does this make sense? Yes. Questions about what we're doing? Susie, you have a question about what we're doing? All right, so let's look at this problem. If Miss Miller and Damien 
had a pizza eating contest. And Damien ate three fourths of a small pizza. But Miss Miller, that's supposed to say eight, not at, ate one half of a large pizza. Who ate more? Hmm. Hmm. Take a second to think about it and see if you can prove it to me. Okay, so you think three fourths is greater than one half? So you think? Get out your fraction pieces. Is that true? So Dylan thinks that Damien ate more because three fourths is bigger than one half. That's what he thinks. Get out your fraction pieces. See, is that true? Is that statement true? Three fourths is greater than one half. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. no, that is correct. You have fraction pieces in front of you. Is three fourths larger than one half? Yes. Yeah. This is correct. So if you said Miss Miller ate more pizza, why? Why? I kind of why. Um, because it says that Damien had a smaller pizza and you had a larger pizza. Oh! So, you could so here's Damien's size pizza. Oh, here's his three fourths. <laughs> 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 and here's Miss Miller's size pizza. Who ate more? Miss Miller. Miss Miller, because it's bigger. She had to put it over to the So, guys, this is important. Well, yes, Dylan, you were exactly correct. Three fourths is bigger than one half. You need to pay attention to what is your whole. Three fourths of a small pizza is going to look a lot different than one half of a large pizza. When you compare fractions, your holes have to be the same. When you compare fractions, your holes have to be the same. When you compare fractions, your holes have to be the same. So, using your fraction strips and drawing bar models, so we can get in the practice of drawing the bar models, you're going to compare these four pairs of numbers. Okay? Go ahead and put all your pieces back in your bag. That way we don't run the risk of losing them. And then as you need them, you can get them out. My dear, that's not what I've done. I said put them all back in your bag. Alright, so we just talked about how our fraction pieces are all the same whole, so we can compare them. When you are drawing your bar hops, don't make one super short and one super big. But can you compare that? No, it's just like the small pizza versus the large pizza. I can't compare that, that's not fair. My two models have to be the exact same length. So when you are drawing your bar models, they need to be the exact same length. Are there any questions about what you're going to get ready to do? Alright, get started. We got one half versus three fourths. Five six versus one third. One half versus two six. And four eighths versus two thirds. You're using your fraction strips and then you're drawing the bar model for each of those four pairs. You can go in order, whatever order you want, as long as we all get that. You need your math notebook though, because you're writing in your math notebook. All right, I would like you to pause and let's just go through the first one together to make sure everyone's on the right path and then I'll let you keep working. Come on. All right, so just pause. Even if you're still working, just pause. I'm going to give you more time in a second. I just want to make sure we're doing it right. Okay? So I'm going to draw my two holes for one half versus three fourths because I think a lot of you started with that problem. I'm drawing my bars equal. Why am I drawing my bars to be the same length? Why? Why? For funsies. 